welcome to my channel mk medical lectures learning with artworks like drawing and calligraphy in this video we will discuss about the structure of neuron well the nervous system consists of a huge number of cells called the neurons neuron is the basic structural and functional unit of the nervous system. Neurons are commonly referred to simply as nerve cells and bundles of axons bound together are called nerves. Neurons cannot divide and for survival they need a continuous supply of oxygen and glucose. Structurally, neurons vary significantly in size and shape, but they all have common features. These include a cell body, the tubular cytoplasm filled dendrites, which conduct impulses to the neuron cell body and an exon which conducts impulses away from the neuron cell body. So, first of all, let's talk about the neuron cell body. The neuron cell body is otherwise known as soma and act as a biosynthetic center of the neuron. Cell body or soma consists of granular cytoplasm called neuroplasm, a cell membrane, and organelles such as mitochondria, present also an exon, a Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, a network of fine threads called neurofibrils which extends into the exon and a nucleus which is centrally placed in the nerve cell body. Nucleus does not contain centrosomes so the nerve cell cannot multiply like other cells. Scatter Throughout the cytoplasm are many membranous sacs called chromatopelic substance or nasal bodies. These are similar to rough endoplasmic reticulum in other cells. Ribosomes attached to chromatopelic substance function and protein synthesis. These bodies are present in soma and dendrite, but not an exon. Dendrites are distinguished from exons by the presence of nasal granules under microscope after suitable staining. Moreover, nasal bodies in neurofibrils are found only in nerve cell and not in other body cells. Dendrites are usually short and highly branched and together with the membrane of the cell body. They are the neurons main receptive surfaces with which exons from other neurons communicate. Dendrite may be present or absent in a neuron. After this, we have exons as a part of a neuron. Well, exons are usually longer than dendrites, and in most neurons, it arises from the cell body as a cone shaped thickening called the exon hillock. Now, if we just 
zoom into this area for example we would see this area is on drawing and there would be many mitochondria microtubules and neurofibrils in the exon cytoplasm mean the exoplasm the exon end may branch into many fine extensions that are called the exon terminals in these or in contact with the receptive surfaces of other cells which may be a dendrite or a soma dendrites and exons are usually called narrow fibers larger exons of peripheral neurons are enclosed in myelin sheets produced by font cells as here i have drawn a myelinated neuron by taking a cross section of here we can say that Schwann cell wind tightly around exons somewhat like a bandage wrapped around a finger coating them with many layers of cell membrane that have little or no cytoplasm between them and it is called the myelin the fault of the Schwann cells that contain most of the cytoplasm and the nuclei remain outside the myelin sheet and compose a nevrolema or nevrolemal sheet which surrounds the myelin sheet besides the narrow gaps between the Schwann cells are called nodes of Ranvier and exons with myelin sheets are called myelinated and those that lack sheets are unmyelinated and with this thanks for watching and support us by subscribing to our channel and do like and comment below about our work